welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming what feels like one of the most important reviews on my channel in a while. I am talking about the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Total Eyeshadow Palette Trio, I guess you could call it. Okay guys, this intro is going to be super, super rambly, so if you guys are only here for the review, I'm going to leave the timestamp right here where the review starts so you guys can just fast forward through me rambling about my channel and all that jazz. So go ahead and get to this timestamp. Um, now really quick before I start talking about the palette, just a few disclaimers. This is my channel guys. All of these thoughts are my thoughts. If you guys are looking for this hunky-dory, everything is positive, everything is awesome, YouTuber, that's not me. I genuinely like to kind of just give you guys my opinion on this channel. I'm not like a pro makeup artist. I am not in the makeup industry. I spend all my hard earned money on all of this makeup. And so if I'm genuinely disappointed in something, I'm gonna tell you guys that if I'm genuinely excited about something, I'm gonna tell you guys, and it might not necessarily be your opinion, and that's 100% okay because I watch YouTubers as well. I watch YouTube all the time. Just because I create YouTube content, it doesn't mean that I don't participate and watch other YouTubers. And there are plenty of YouTubers that I disagree with, but I don't sit there in the comments and you know make assumptions about who they are or why they didn't like a palette or this and that and the other. I have found in my seven years of watching YouTube and creating content, it's a lot easier to just ignore or unsubscribe if you don't agree with the YouTuber and that's 100% okay. For example, Laura Lee, I used to love her channel, used to be subscribed, but I think we've just grown apart like as far as personalities go and I just unsubscribed to her channel. I didn't like sit there and let my mind about it and stuff like that. The other thing I do want to say is, as well, while I have your attention, if you guys don't make YouTube videos, honestly, you have no idea how much work it takes. And especially if anyone goes through any kind of effort to have good quality. So it's a little bit different if you're filming on your phone, but anyone that is has lights, has a decent camera, does a little bit of editing and also works full time, they are taking time out of their day to create this content. So try and be a little respectful, especially the smaller YouTubers, because we're not having like piles and piles of makeup sent to us. This isn't most people's full time job. So you really don't have to watch any videos that you don't want to, like, kind of going with my first point. But anyway, I just wanted to throw out some disclaimers because I, I did get a little bit of a taste of what it's like to have new people you know show up on my channel and just kind of go like oh you said so and so like you're you said that you're a youtuber and you were buying these products for review purposes and that lit a fire under somebody's ass and when i said that i wasn't saying it to sound like i'm a big deal everyone else needs to stop i just said that to customer service at pat mcgrath because i was personally frustrated with how long it was taking them to get these palettes shipped out. Now keep in mind, my background currently, my job is actually like a shipping coordinator for a very small business. And so I understand how long the postal service takes and I understand how hard it is. Like I process, package and ship out all our orders. So I get it, I, I get it, but then these, this is kind of like, a bigger operation. Pat McGrath is obviously bigger than the business I work for, I'm assuming, but yeah, it just blew my mind that I had to wait for so long. Anyway, I don't wanna like get into this whole situation, but the reason I said like, this is what I did is so people could, you know, go and do that themselves. Like if you were frustrated, you know, email customer service and tell them the reason you were frustrated. If you don't film YouTube videos, I can totally understand why you didn't feel a sense of urgency to get the palettes, but my hope was to get them ahead of time before they launched at Sephora so I could review them for you guys because part of YouTube is kind of, you know, being able to review products sooner than before they're like launch. It's just part of the beast, the nature of the beast. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to have enough time to test these products out. I don't know if I mentioned in my 
swatch party video that I had read the return policy on Pat McGrath and once you swatch these shadows you can't return them so I you know obviously invested that $300 in it so I wasn't gonna get that back once I swatched these palettes and it was uh, something I wanted to do for my channel so just keep all of that in mind guys when you're watching other youtubers channels especially smaller youtubers because they do go through a lot to put together this stuff you know sometimes I'm filming late at night or I'm thinking about how soon I can get something up and kind of sacrificing time with my husband or you know different things it it doesn't really matter what I'm doing instead of because this is something I'm really passionate about but uh, I just urge you to always be respectful on other people's channels and uh, that's all I have to say about that anyway if you guys are new to my channel, I hope you lasted through that whole ramble, but it's just something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Set the tone for my channel. I don't want random people that aren't loyal subscribers on here talking smack. It's totally fine if you want to tell me like, hey, you know, maybe you shouldn't go around saying lit a fire under somebody's ass. Like maybe you shouldn't swear on your channel which I also would like you to know that I do swear on like a daily basis. Like this is exactly the person I am in real life. It, if you want me to stop swearing, uh, I can't do it. <laughs> so if that's something that bothers you, just don't watch any of my videos because I don't swear like every other word, but I definitely like drop the F-bomb here and there. I definitely drop some swear words here and there. So I'm gonna stop now, but thank you so much for watching this video. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. So I do urge you guys to subscribe. For all my new subscribers, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. If you guys don't know my YouTube story, I will. I don't really have one video that explains it, but I have been on YouTube for about seven years and I never really fully committed to it. I feel like 2017 and the end of 2016 were really the first years that I actually sat down and consistently filmed. And I definitely see growth in my channel, so it's really, really exciting. Okay guys, so I am so excited to do this. Now, I have changed my filming setup a little bit. I just got a little bit of a smaller table in my room, so I'm trying to balance like three palettes, a notebook, some makeup wipes, my phone, all on like a little Walmart TV tray. But the reason I did that is so you guys could be closer to me and you could see my swatches and things like that better. So let's start off. We are talking about the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership palettes today, guys. Now, I've had so many of you ask for reviews and things like that, and I do apologize, but I really like to play with my palettes so that I know what the hell I'm talking about, at least for the most part. So I received these on 10.6, and today is like 10.16, so I've had these for about 10 days. I've had a chance to play with them. I've worn them pretty much every day. I've worn makeup on my eyes because I wanted to give you guys as best a review as I could with the time I had. There's so, three palettes. Now, let me show you. This is the first one. This is what the packaging looks like. This palette is called the Mothership Number no. One Eyeshadow Palette in Subliminal. And I basically wanted to look up the meaning of all of these words. So, subliminal means exists below the threshold of consciousness. So, pretty deep. I'm gonna let you guys Google if you need to do further research on that, but this is what all of the outer packaging looks like on all of these palettes. These are very heavy. There is a beveled mirror on the inside of these palettes. That is a word one of my subscribers used when describing this palette, and I'm so glad she taught me that because I was just gonna say it's a really heavy mirror, but apparently this like shaping is called beveled, which makes sense, and there is a plastic protecting strip here that I haven't taken off yet because I'm weird like that, but this is the first palette, and this is what it looks like and then this is the packaging as well super beautiful very artistic so this is the second palette and again this is called the mothership number no. two eyeshadow palette in sublime so this is what it looks like and sublime means such excellence or beauty as to inspire great admiration so I mean I definitely think all of these palettes are sublime <laughs> see what I did there so this is what this palette looks like 
I would say this is my second favorite palette. This is what it looks like. So I just wanted to show you guys packaging and stuff. And then this is the Mothership palette number three. And this one is called Subversive, seeking to destroy an established or existing system. That's what subversive means. This is what this palette looks like. They all look the same on the outside. The outer box is different. And then of course the shadows are different on the inside. This is probably my favorite palette is what I've decided. And I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today, this particular one. This is a shade on my lids. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm not gonna blabber, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go through all my points that I wanna hit on this palette for you guys. This is by the brand Pat McGrath Labs. It is a high-end, I feel like luxury palette, honestly, with this price point. I've never purchased anything from Pat McGrath Labs before. I've definitely thought about it, but nothing really caught my attention. I know she had a lot of eye kits and lip kits that came out in the previous months, but honestly, eyeshadow palettes are like where my heart is when it comes to my makeup collection. So as soon as I saw that she was coming out with eyeshadow palettes, I lost my freaking mind. So, so excited about that. Where can you find these palettes? I bought mine on the Pat McGrath website. You can also find them now on Sephora.com. I believe everything is in stock as far as I know. And also guys, Sephora friends and family sale is happening right now. So I think that will be the perfect time to, you know, grab these palettes. And launch date on the Pat McGrath website was 928 and I received these palettes on 106 like I mentioned previously. And I'm not sure if these are limited edition or permanent. I don't really think she does permanent products right now. I have a feeling these are limited edition but I couldn't find any information on that at this time. Cost is 125 if you buy them individually. If you buy the Mothership Total, which is what I did on the Pat McGrath website, that's the only place I found the um, three together in a bundle. That makes them $300, which means you pay $100 per palette and you save $75 doing that. Shipping is also free on the Pat McGrath website. So as far as the packaging goes, the outer box, I think she definitely did something different. It's definitely very Pat McGrath inspired. Her packaging is always very minimal, so I get it. I really do. I think, you know, they made it a little bit interesting. It reminds me, I don't know why, of like calligraphy and like something to do with like Asia. Like it reminds me a lot of like Tokyo and like Japanese culture. So I don't know if that's just me, but that's what it reminds me of as far as the packaging on the actual palettes. I think these are amazing. I've definitely owned a few hundred dollar palettes in my life. One that comes to mind is of course very like off the top of my head is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes and they do not feel as luxurious as these palettes do. These are heavy. They remind me of like a very high end palette. The only thing with this like shiny plastic on the front is of course it does catch a lot of prints. I definitely have smudges all over mine. But overall, I think it's very luxurious and beautiful. The only thing I'm mad about is that they didn't put the names in the palette, but I feel like that's part of like their luxurious branding. I feel like maybe she thought it would make it tacky. The whole vibe is just very minimal, so I, I get it, but I wish there was a better way to put the names on there because if you are planning on doing like tutorials with this palette, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for people to follow. Now usually I do include a demo with my review videos, but since there's three palettes, what I thought I would do is once I catch up on all my reviews, I'll start doing looks with each palette. I'm so excited because I've had so much fun playing with these eyeshadows. Okay, so anyway, back to the packaging. Better than any other packaging I've found for a $100 palette. As far as everything I know about Pat McGrath, she is a celebrity and fashion makeup artist. She does a lot of her work is like editorial. Uh, you see a lot of her work in fashion magazines, runways. I follow her on Instagram and I saw during like New York Fashion Week, she was doing a lot of the really, really nice like haute couture shows. So definitely a well-known makeup artist in her field. She is a working artist, which I think is really, really great. And also she is from the UK, I believe. These palettes are made in Italy. It does say that on the box as well as the packaging on the palette. 
Now, I was doing some research, you guys. I'm not as detailed as Stephanie Nicole, but I was doing some research on the palettes, the shade selection, and things like that. I was very confused for a long while, and then I realized basically that the palette is broken into two types of formulas. There is a formula that has a 30 month shelf life and another formula that has an 18 month shelf life. So that was really interesting. It took me forever to figure it out because on each side there's different like shelf lives and I was like, what the hell does that mean? I've never seen that before. One formula that has a 30 month shelf life is the super saturated pigments. There are six powder luxe pressed eyeshadows in an innovative formula with matte, pearl, and sparkle finish. So that is one formula that has that powder luxe pressed eyeshadow formula and then on the other side there are four shadows that have that 18 month shelf life and the description i found of those shadows are four modern hybrid pigmented formulas metallic satin sheen iridescent and holographic brilliant finishes so basically from what i understood the mattes have a longer shelf life and then these crazy like holo shades I'm assuming have a shorter shelf life of 18 months, which really isn't that short. It's like a year and a half. And I honestly haven't had an eyeshadow palette really go bad yet in my collection. Some of my really, really old palettes, I don't really use that often, but yeah, I've never had one like smell or do anything funky like that. So as far as how much you get in these, so the six eyeshadows that have that one formula, you get 1.2 grams of product, which means total amount of product in each of the palettes that have the formula that lasts longer, you get 7.2 grams total. And then the formula that has the shorter shelf life, which is 18 months, you get four of those in each palette and that's 1.5 grams, which means you get six grams of product there. So total amount of product in each of these palettes is about 13.2 grams which isn't a ton, but I feel like, you know, honestly, like we have this conversation every time, who is going to go through all of their eyeshadows? Let's be real, no one, really, no one. So I just thought it would be so fun if I showed you guys some of my favorite shades in these palettes. Now this is the first one. Honestly, this one is kind of a snooze fest for me. I'm not really attracted to this blue. I don't think it's very unique, but I wanna show you guys this color here in the corner. Now when I tell you guys these palettes have the best duochrome eyeshadows I have ever fucking seen in my life, I'm not kidding. You don't even understand. This on your lids is insane. I have been Instagram storing the crap out of all the looks I've been creating and honestly guys, I have gotten so many compliments on my eyeshadow, it's unreal. Even today I was getting coffee at Caribou and the girl was like, oh my gosh, I love your eyeshadow and I wanted to like go into a long rambly story about what my eyeshadow was, but I didn't want to scare her with my craziness. So this is the second palette. These, these corner shades are all duochromes. Now this one looks gold. Let me swatch it for you and they feel like butter. Do you guys see this? Do you guys understand what these shadows are doing? I mean, they're fucking up the makeup game right here. Pat McGrath has killed it like I can die happy now because the shifts on these are insane like I'm looking at it right now I can see orange I can see green I can see pink I can see blue it's nuts these palettes are beyond insane honestly I don't know I feel bad for saying I didn't think these were worth the money in my swatch party video but honestly guys that was my first impression but having played with these Oh my gosh, I can't imagine not having bought all of these palettes. Like people have been messaging me over the weekend and saying like, which palette should I get? And I'm like, honestly, I can't pick for you. I would get all of them because they're worth every penny. Just like the duochromes. I've never seen duochromes like this. I remember when Makeup Geek came out with their duochromes and I picked up two shades and I remember swatching them and I'm like, I don't see a shift in these at all. I mean, they were okay, but I mean, do you guys see this? This is insanity. Like, what? So all of the shades, the mattes, the shimmers, the metallics, the duochromes are intensely creamy. I mean, I have no problem blending these. There's literally no fallout. Metallic and pigmented. The color is so amplified, like it's beyond ridiculous. There's no creasing. They last 
for freaking ever. I usually have my makeup on for hours. Like I get ready at about 6 a.m. and I have my makeup on until I take a shower and go to bed, which is usually around 10 o'clock at night. And these were perfectly opaque, no fading, no problems. They're emollient, beautiful texture, so soft. They almost feel like a gilded, like baked gelée formula. So beautiful, velvety. Velvety is a really good word to describe these shadows. They just like, they swatch like a dream. The colors are beautiful. Honestly, they wear on your eyes way better than the swatches because these are pigmented, but on your eyes, you can just like pack them on. And honestly, the foil is unreal. Like I don't even have to wet my brush to, to do this. All I did was put down the Too Faced glitter glue just to help it stick to my lid. And this is the pigmentation I got. I don't even think I would need the glitter glue. I just started testing the palettes with the glitter glue. So I have continued to do that. I meant to test the shadows without the glitter glue, but unfortunately I just kind of got in the habit. So I haven't tried them out without the glitter glue yet, but honestly, I'm confident that that wouldn't be an issue. And if you have to pack on some glitter glue, so what? These are effing worth it, 100%. So the other thing I had mentioned in the swatch video was that the black shade was repeated in the three palettes. Now, a wonderful subscriber of mine did say that she might have done that so that you can use the black as a base, which I totally agree with. But something I did say I would do in the swatch video was do the matte. So um, basically at $125 with 10 shades, each shade is worth $12.50, which is actually not that much money if you think of how much Makeup Forever eyeshadows cost. And you get more with the Makeup Forever ones, but I don't like that formula. So anyway, so $12.50 per shadow times three of the shades repeated. That means you're spending $37.50 on the black shades alone, which is kind of a bummer because I bought all three, but of course I can't be a selfish person and be like, well, she should have left the black out in one of them because like who needs three of black shades? But of course, some people are only buying one of these palettes or two of these palettes and there is no way to make everyone happy. So I get that. But as far as what skin types this palette would be suitable for, Pat McGrath is a person of color. So I, I think she definitely kept, you know, people of color in mind designing these shadows. So I definitely think this is gonna work for every skin tone. I can't imagine why it wouldn't because they're freaking pigmented, like honestly. So, so pigmented, so I do appreciate that, that it isn't a palette that is honestly more suited for lighter skin tones or only suited for darker skin tones. I feel like everyone can wear this palette. As far as the shelf life, I did already mention, but uh, there are six shadows that have a 30 month shelf life and four shadows that have an 18 month shelf life. I don't know how you're gonna keep track of all of that. Personally, like I said, never had a problem with powder shadows. So yeah, I'm assuming I'm not gonna have a problem with these. As far as the day I ordered the palettes, I ordered on 9-28 and they arrived 10-9, which was quite a bit delayed. I did contact Pat McGrath customer service. They said they were having trouble keeping up with the demand. Totally understandable, but they did expedite shipping for me. Not really, I mean, I pretty much feel like I got them as quickly as I would have if I hadn't emailed them but I still appreciate them trying. So if you're still waiting on your palettes and you're in the United States, I would definitely email them because I feel like at this point, if you haven't gotten your palettes, I don't know what the hell is going on in that place. Um, as far as being vegan and cruelty-free, I couldn't find anything on the status of Pat McGrath Labs. I, I, I looked on Logical Harmony, which I hear is like the go-to website for people that wanna make sure palettes are vegan and cruelty-free, and I didn't see them on her list. So I'm gonna say I don't know about their cruelty-free and vegan status. As far as application of the shadows, I think they are so, so easy to use. I feel like they're basically idiot-proof. The only thing you do have to keep in mind is if you're gonna use a glitter glue, learn how to do that, you know, just like pat it on, blah, 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 blah. I would recommend with this palette, the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I think that works beautifully with this palette. And honestly, it works well with any palette that has glitter. Too Faced, I'm not the biggest fan, but they do know how to make a good glitter glue. So I will give them that card. As far as swatches, I will link my swatch video up in the cards for you guys to watch. 
it'll be super fun and entertaining as far as wear time of this palette like i said it wears for hours i've had no problems with the wear of the eyeshadow now guys for the million dollar question would i recommend these palettes to you guys would i genuinely say go and spend 125 dollars on this palette i don't know if you guys are going to be upset with me but you guys they're worth every flipping fucking penny honestly if you think that you will like these shades i would 100 percent recommend picking up the three it's it's so mind-blowing like these shadows make me so happy if i didn't do youtube as a hobby i would honestly stop buying eyeshadow palettes because i feel like these have like slayed the game i've never seen a formula like this before in my entire existence i feel like the huda palette has similar like sparkly duochrome shades but the way these shadows feel the luxury aspect like if you were going to treat yourself to something if you really want a really nice christmas present for yourself do it and especially with the sephora sale coming up you're gonna get 20 percent off of these palettes i would 100 percent recommend that you splurge on one of these if these colors and shades call your name like i said check out my swatch video see what you think of the swatches and see if any of these colors call to you but personally guys oh my god like i'm so happy i bought these if she ever comes out with another eyeshadow palette i have a feeling i'm going to have to buy them I feel like she could have definitely made like one palette with like all these cool shades in them but I like that she gave us variety so like I said there's always you know there's always somebody that's going to come up with some bad point but these are freaking amazing I think you can do a complete look with pretty much all of them I do struggle with finding like a brow bone shade but I usually just pull in my Viseart neutral matte palette but as far as like a black to smoke out the outer corner or do like a really beautiful smoky eye or some smoked out look, um, she has enough like dark shades for in each of the palettes to do that. I personally have no problem pulling in another palette to use these. And like I said at the beginning, I will do individual looks with each of the palettes because these palettes are 100% worth celebrating. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to cover in my Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Total review video. Hopefully you guys found this video useful and entertaining. Definitely leave me comments down below. If you are planning on picking up these palettes, if you already have picked up these palettes, are they worth the hype? What do you guys think? I love hearing from my subscribers and my friends, of course. People that are watching my channel, I love, love, love hearing what you guys think. I know most of you are makeup junkies as well, so let's have fun in the comments. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, guys, and I will be back on my channel soon. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Bye.